can't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? We'll, we'll probably cut it out there. Anyway. Oh my god, that game ended see, up in some fun, didn't Pete it? Pete and I have been discussing um, uh, the uh, history of the world and how, in fact, uh, many of us could indeed be uh, related to uh, Genghis Khan Absolutely. and his Mongol horde. Yeah. Anyway. Oof. Right. I, I, I like that. I would like to be, uh, you know. Would you? Pete Khan. <laughs> you know. Danish. Genghis Anderton. Oh, what? Uh, uh, Mongolian Pete. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's with a Viking helmet. With a Viking Mongolian helmet. Mongolian Pete. Right. Anyway. anyway. Coming to a base. Um, Hello, welcome back to Anderton's TV, uh, the home of uh, guitar reviews and terrible banter. <laughs> uh, it's 2022, if you didn't already know. And that normally means, it's early 2022, and that normally means guitar brands like Ibanez uh, come out and go, here's new stuff yeah. for you. You might be um, watching this in 2023, in which case, Yeah, there's probably a different video of different new yeah. stuff. By Still now. like and subscribe. And Please, all that stuff. like yeah. and subscribe. Um, <laughs> now, uh, uh, the dear, our dear friend Rabir is joining us uh, early next week to review some of the um, more contemporary looking Ibanez guitars. Might be last week. If Could we, be when you're witnessing this, this. This is and true. If, in which case, you might um, want to watch the video up here. So I don't know yet. But. If you're excited about what Ibanez have got coming in 2022, stay tuned because Ben's going to do the acoustics, Rabir's going to do some of the uh, speed machines. Yeah, Nathan um, and Lee's going to do some of the new bass stuff as well. So we've got everything going. So many reasons to subscribe to this channel. Absolutely. And we're neither of them. There's no reason um, why you shouldn't, so, other than us. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, we have a couple of new models mm. in their semi hollow range. Yeah. Um, nothing, not, the shapes are familiar, so yeah. this is the AM series uh, Art Star, this is the AS series Art yeah. Star. Um, this is just a new colour, so just to put it out there, that's the only thing that's different this, but we haven't really yeah. done it before and it's a great guitar. So yeah, when we'll revisit and on screen now are the other colours that that particular one. So which model number is that one? And this one here is, um, you know, I love <laughs> Ibanez and their model numbers because it always makes perfect sense to me. Hashtag AS113-BS. It's that hashtag, hashtag if you want to post uh, on Instagram <laughs> or something. So hashtag AMH90 and the colour is BPM which is per Perusian, per Prussian, 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 metallic. Prussian, Prussian. Perusian, I would say Prussian. Pru Pru uh, Prussian or Prussian? Prussian, I, I, I What I'm, does that mean? Prussian was, uh, oh my goodness me, Here we I, go. I, it's, uh, it was We're a, gonna digress now. It was a geographical area somewhere between sort of, if you imagine where current uh, Germany and Russia and... Okay. Oh, not, uh, what's, what countries are sort of east of Germany would have been Poland. the old Soviet Union yeah, and yeah. now it's, anyway. Hungary, Prussia, I, I think, know. is a sort of a, oh, yeah, yeah, a so, geographical So that's, blue, area. that's their blue metallic colour. Maybe it was in the flag or something, I don't know, but Could that's what been. they call it. So, uh, it, which is a new colour for 2022. Mm. Um, just a great guitar, you know. I mean, what's not to like about this? It looks great, gold Does hardware. Very cool. uh, it's got their little try. Do you want to do tones and then I, we'll talk I about can. this one? I thought we should do the specs thing. I thought we should okay. do like top well, so, tones on it. So this I, is, I was going to uh, get my phone up and then tell so you. AS series is probably the most popular shape because of course it's the closest one to uh, a 335 and, and who doesn't like a 335? Center mm -hmm. block guitar. Uh, this is called the AS113 Come on, get the specs this, up. this is a new model. Come on. The familiar one if people are currently sort of, you know, if you're looking at an Epiphone 335 or a Sire S7 or something like that, mm -hmm. you'd probably look at the AS93, which is a model down from this and a two or 300 pound cheaper. Yeah. And if it's not already up there, it will be soon. We're shooting out those three aforementioned guitars. Yes, lots of for you. Ups. Right, so yes. Pete has challenged me to a game of top trumps yeah. using the uh, Ibanez spec sheet for these two guitars. I'm on uh, the Wad Anderson's website, by the oh, way. I'm on the so, Ibanez website. Oh, the home I think of we should specification. go. It doesn't really matter, it's all the same information. Uh, so, yes. uh, do I go first then? Yes, you go first. Okay. Because yours is, is more expensive, right? Yeah, I, I don't know how we win this. Do I, so, do I have to pick a spec that is a number? No, 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 you just say. Okay, my fretboard is this. then. My fretboard is bound Macassar Ebony with acrylic and abalone block inlays. Oh my goodness. Mine is bound uh, Macassar Ebony with abalone dots. So, who wins out of you, blocks you do, versus dots? And that depends if you like blocks board. or dots, right? This is true. Yeah. Uh, your go. Uh, I've got a three piece NATO and maple neck. I have a three-piece Nayato. Is that the same Nato, thing? Yeah. Maple. Yes. So do I. Oh. A set neck. Oh. Oh. Set neck. Set in. Yeah. Yes. That's set in neck. Okay. So I you have go. a spruce top with flame maple back and flame maple sides. Oh. Top wood. I've got linden. Linden. Linden David Johnson. I don't know. Um, was he a president? Yeah. I think he was, wasn't he? Yeah. What's your back and sides? Excuse me. 
Uh, flamed maple. Oh, I've got Linden again. So you I win that I one. Spruce and, and I should maple. do. This is a, this is more money. Um, I have super fifty eight pickups. I have super fifty eight pass, passive agnel, nick, El Nico humbuggers. <laughs> wow, he's my favourite actor. Oh, that was Al, <laughs> Al, Al, Al Nico. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, fine. So, is there any differences then between these two guitars other than the basic well, I've, shape? I've got a VT 6 tail piece. I've got a different tail piece. I can't find what I've got. Oh, here we go. I've got a Gibraltar Artist Bridge. Yeah, so that you've got the, the and a quick put, change yeah, three tail I, piece. I really like that quick. That's cool. I'm not Can sure. Can I just say right. really quickly, what have you got as your knot? Because mine is plastic. Bone. See? So Literally you, and from one of Genghis Khan's <laughs> defeated <laughs> cities. Cities. Yes. And I have not got a bag or a case with it. Have I've you got, got one? this. Can I just tell you now? Right. Previously in the AS series, there previously was AS2000. Yeah, previously <laughs> on the AS series. Uh, AS2000 was the Japanese one. Stunning, gorgeous, top of the range. Video pro, up Yeah, video up there. Mm -hmm. um, and all these shapes have a Japanese kind of like super pro end. Yeah. And that's, you know, they're comparable to going to buy a USA uh, Gibson 335 yeah. or something. Beautiful instruments. Lines. I would love one yeah. of the little... Little We've ones. got the sort of the more affordable stuff. So, for example, this is an Indonesian-made guitar. Um, but where is the, the 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 AS93 that I was mentioning before? Is about five hundred quid. This is about eight fifty. One of the big differences between this and the AS93 is this amazing hard case that you get. Yeah. So it's like a proper injection molded. Yeah. Is it made by SKB? It looks it like looks it. Looks like it, but not it like an the SKB, SKB sort of yeah. ATA style case. Um, Definitely worth the, you've got some nice knobs I'll on do, there. I'll, I'll, let yeah. me do tones yeah, yeah, come then. On then come on right. in, come on so in, come on in. Super 58 are, pickup is an Ibanez proprietary made pickup. Um, features on a lot of their guitars, their humbucker guitars, particularly in the sort of art core and art star sort of range, you know, the, the more Gibson-y, I suppose. Yeah, nice guitars. pickup. I'm going affordable today. Yeah. Laney Lane, Super Cub, affordable pedals, of which none are switched on. Neck pickup in its, mm. uh, no, not full humbucker mode. I have, to, yeah, right, the, the now it is. Yeah, Neck yeah. pickup in its full humbucker mode. Just classic, good sounding. Mm. Uh, neck and middle. Bridge. Pokey, That's a ball, right? isn't it? Um, this little three-way selector here. Bow. Oh. Yes, the bow selector. You can't say that. Uh, it affects how the <laughs> neck pickup works. So if you're on any setting on your three-way switch that involves a neck pickup, it will have an effect. If you're on the bridge pickup only, it won't do anything. So up here, so full humbucker. Now a humbucker is two coils wired in, wired in series, so sound goes into one and then into the next one. However, you can wire in parallel, meaning they're going through both coils simultaneously, but not one stacked into the other. Uh -huh. So this was uh, this was a full uh, series. So this is parallel. So you can hear different tone. And in the middle, it's a coil split version. So one of the coils, oh, I've, I've uh, moved its little plastic sheath. Yeah. Um, so in the, here you go, so single coil. So the three tones together uh, start with full humbucker. Go to parallel. And then single coil. You explained so, that really well. That's that. Everything else on here is like a standard Gibson, you know, two humbucker guitar. I think Pete's right to do this. This quick change tail piece is nice, so it, you don't thread it through as such. You just string goes in the top, and then the ball kind of just has a little home it locks into. Regular looking sort of tunematic um, bridge here. I've got underwear like that on today. Have you? Yeah, yeah. It just locks in. Uh, yes, and and it's all the spec of this. Actually, I say all the specs. It's a spruce top which yeah. is obviously 
quite sort of more of a jazzy nod. So if you three three five would be a maple top, flame maple top, um, spruce top would be perhaps some of the bigger body jazzer mm -hmm. boxes. Um, as the as the expensive uh, ones are. Also, yeah. You know. So, but it's really got nice and Ooh. not not silly money and kind of an interesting price. Really, it's it's that idea of going, you know. Semi-acoustic guitars are, by their very nature, more expensive to build than solid-body guitars, and that's why within the Gibson range, you know, anything you're buying out of the USA, whether it's Heritage or Gibson or whatever, yeah. you're not going to get a guitar like this for less than two, two and a half, yeah, something exactly. like that. Um, there's a very popular price point, you know, where Epiphone will come in with a 335 and Sire, etc., down at the sort of 500 pound range. But if you just want something a bit nicer for a little bit more money, yeah. that's kind of where this sits. They make some and great it is a nice cut. Honest, I, I will just quickly do like um, do it. Have I got like a rock and rolly? You know, not everybody wants to play. You know, sort of no, um, not jazz, safe, but you know, like sort of jazzy blues. <laughs> Great, isn't Not it? Not at all. impromptu uh, bit of rock and roll. Blues, so that, yeah, there yeah. you go. Really like this guitar. Well done, Ibanez. And just to remind you, it is an AS113-BS, which does not stand for bullshit. No, it does Brown not. Sun but it is fantastic, that, anyway. Anyway, yeah. and it's about nice 750 guitar. quid, isn't it? So 750 or 850? 750. 750. 759, I believe it was on our website. Wow. I might be wrong, but check the links below. The, okay. This is the, the slightly lesser version, not lesser version, because it's, it's, it's always so harsh to say that it's as less. It's the more affordable version. It's more affordable, but 559 quid, 555.60. Again, links below. Uh, so as you heard the specs, it's different specs on there. Um, you've got dots instead of block inlays. You've got a little bit less thing, but you know, I don't know. Very different tailpiece. Yeah, this. So slightly more ringy you've got vibe more. to it. Oh, wow. Is it totally hollow? Was it a center block? Mm, actually, that's a good. It's got no. It's got a block here, and center? then it's it's got some. It's it's definitely hollow, but it's if you look in, you can see it's got more more like ah. a block line through here, but it's not touching the back. No, that is that's interesting, yeah. isn't it? So you've it's got half half, you've got like um probably an inch thick piece of wood that sits underneath the pickups all the way here but that is hollow underneath and then yeah. there's like there's a, the uh, there's like one where the plate, block yeah, where, where the, the where the bridge is that, yeah. that sort of sorry, yeah. that goes completely to the back yeah. so actually it is it, it's, it's pretty much a, it's not quite like you know completely hollow like a casino or something no. maybe but it's it's it's, but it, that it's super vibe, light as very well light. Isn't it? yeah so, i like the way it's got like a little um so almost like, um, what is that called when it's got this? Yeah, like a, an arch on the back. Yeah, an arch, it's an arch, arch top. In it? fairness, so, look at how they've done the, the bit just behind where the strap yeah, yeah. button goes. It's beautifully done, yeah. isn't it? For 550, yeah. 60 quid, you know. The colour, I love the colour. It's such a cool... Mm. I always think with a, that, because it's a bit, not odd looking is wrong, but the, because the F holes are the same size as this guitar, but the proportion of the body is smaller, I think it makes the F holes look bigger. Does it? But it's it's like um, it's like smaller than that one. I'm isn't not it? really sure. It, I mean, this guitar again. If you were looking in the sort of the Gibson or the Epiphone range, you'd probably be talking about a three three nine, which is yeah. a slightly more compact guitar. And I it's think that's bigger. marginally bigger than a three three nine. But it, but it's this idea of if really? you just find a three three five style guitar too big for you. Yeah. Uh, too heavy, too big, whatever. Then the AM series is a brilliant alternative. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah. let's have some tones. I'm, as Lee said, plugged into a more expensive amp here with a £50,000 pedal board. It's completely unnecessary, but there we are. <laughs> I've got 
the same switching uh, as yours, so... You can hear it more on this, I'm, can't I'm you? I'm a little surprised at that as well, because the model down from this, which is the same kind of dough as that yeah. one, you don't have the switch. All right. So that's quite good value on that one, isn't it? It is, actually. Switch. Yeah. So... I think it's more accentuated on this because you've got the this tailpiece mm. that, that sort of hangs off that you haven't got the same contact to the body that you get and you've got the hollowness of the guitar that the switch more here jangly, is right, it's it? more jangly. if you're in the middle position it'll still do the same to the neck pickup but leave the bridge pickup alone as it were so I, i'm i'm kind of fascinated behind so this idea of the parallel wiring on yeah. here is what you would get on you know you, you I, I was meeting oh is it going to sound like a position two or position four on a yeah. on a strat or the middle position on a telly or something like that and it doesn't sound much like it at all and i i i wonder if that's because maybe we don't have a reverse wound coil, or is it just purely and simply because at least on a strap the pickups are quite far Slow apart? Service. In here, I think. Oh, it's, oh you mean, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. It, yeah. uh, on here, I sort of because the pickups are so close together, you're almost just hearing the same pickup twice. Yeah. Rather than two different, a blend of two quite different sounds. And because it's hollow, I suspect it'll pick up lots of sound from the back somehow. Is that from the inside of the sound do. and the inside of the body? Man, we're getting, we're just, this is yeah. getting deep, man. It's like, bit. this is going to be a 10 this minute video, super like easy. A, this, is, this is like the Mongol horde going deep into the Ibanez territory. Um, okay. I don't Let's know why just, we were talking about Genghis Khan beforehand. Apologies if... Uh, we were talking about it because, <laughs> because we, we were looking up, that something came up and they said that we what, are all... One in five of us are all related yeah. to Genghis Khan We've got in DM, Genghis Khan DNA in, in us, most of us, so... Oh, man. Because he, I mean, well, you can't have that in there. Can't I mean, it was that. like fifteen hundred years ago or something, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. um, okay. okay, so <laughs> let's just go back to people are laughing now. All right, so middle position here with the switch. So as, as I mentioned, I really it's, like it's that. yeah, it's 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 not. It doesn't give you that, as you said, that strat would you, tone. Would you just, you know, humour me here and humour the public? Yeah. Um, humour the public. Just, you know, little G chordy riff, because same pickups, right? But yeah. on a guitar with a different bridge and a hollow body. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's, what am so, I... So, you know, so some people would go, well, it should sound the same, because pickups are the only things that make a difference. Certainly feels and, different. Uh, yeah, I was thinking just, just tone, just purely tone. So I'm going neck pick up. Anything all you like, back. it doesn't matter as long as they're set the same on the two. Okay. Yes, yeah, brighter, more, isn't more it? More brighter. More there's more that there's more of this. Let's just go bridge because we haven't gone bridge yet. And then nothing happens there, so you've just got a bridge pickup. It wants to, there's something there that wants to. Let's do um, Morning Glory. What's the story, Genghis Khan? <laughs> <laughs> That's like my uh, favourite uh, thing, that sound. That's what they do, and you do have, yeah. in fairness, hollow. The, the more hollow the guitar, the more it will, you, feed it will feedback. Yeah. And some people might go, oh, actually, I play really loud with loads of gain and I don't want my guitar feeding back then, all the time. Yeah, but that, then just keep playing or turn it down. Well, that's you're true. Not, you know, there was Stuff a solution for everything. Uh, tea towels, There's no problem, it? only solutions. Only solutions. Uh, here is the neck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
and it's, this is it's the a... most in-depth review we've done of a different colour guitar <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's because we haven't really done it. I think Ariel and me did a, vid vi really? did a video on... Back no, in the we, 70s. We, we shot out four semi-hollows, I think. Uh, yeah, and I, I think just we remember the video. Have you got a hard on for a semi? And oh yeah, I got a semi for. A se yeah, so we changed the name anyway, to yeah. uh, "Here's a Boring Guitar Review." <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was all about the funny title. <laughs> but you know what I really like on this guitar as well? It's got the the Ibanez. Just think of everything. They got this little, little cover. fairy door. Yeah. I don't have that. No, I've because that's wooden, more classic. I've isn't got it? a wooden classic yeah. truss rod. But look at this here. one here. You just put your pick in there, it's and very then uh, and then not your Danish pick, but your guitar pick. Put it in there, and I like it, man. I like them. Me too. Yeah. Links below uh, should be in stock any day, I would yeah. have thought. Go on the website for pre-ordering uh, yes, anyway. Jump on over. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we shall see you in another video soon. Yay!